It's wonderful to see you here, and welcome to the 2017 Conrad and Hilton Humanitarian Prize event. It's, it's wonderful to be back in Los Angeles, the hometown of the foundation, for the first time in 20 years, and it feels really good to be home. But before saying a couple of words about Los Angeles, I would like to ask everyone just to, to direct their thoughts a bit to our neighbors in Northern California who are uh, suffering through the terrible fires today. And I, I think we all feel that it has been a, a string of challenges uh, from, from Houston to Florida to Puerto Rico to the rest of the Caribbean and, and now, uh, now our neighbors to the north. But I also wanted to commend the many of you in this room who as organizations and as individuals have lent a hand and will continue to lend a hand, so thank you. Uh, we are very excited to bring this event to Los Angeles. We think of Los Angeles as a great global city, and I think you will hear that from the mayor when he comes to speak. If Los Angeles were an independent country, its economy would be larger than Saudi Arabia or Sweden or Switzerland. It's a, a city of great diversity, as you will hear, I'm sure, and also a city of possibilities. Uh, we've, we consider Los Angeles a bright spot in the world today, and we hope that the, the prize and the symposium will be our modest but heartfelt contribution to that global nature of Los Angeles. Because it, it isn't a secret to any of you that we live in an increasingly divided world. Last year, one of our speakers, if you were with us last year, you'll remember Zainab Salbi, who gave our keynote at lunch. And she looked at one of the participants and she said, you are a bridge builder. You are the one who explains the other to me. And I need you to understand my world. All of you are called on to be bridge builders, whether you're in a nonprofit, whether you're in government, business, academia, global health, philanthropy, you have a role to bring people together. And you all know we have a tremendous number of divides to overcome these days, religious, political, economic, racial, social. And I look at today as a conversation. Whether you're up here behind a podium or you're sitting at a table, you're a member of this conversation. We will try to be thought-provoking, we will try to challenge assumptions today, and we will try to help you uh, come away from today with, with more energy than you brought, and with ideas about how to move forward. I think we have a great lineup you, you will have seen. In the morning, we'll start with Mayor Garcetti, his, uh, his vision of uh, Los Angeles as a global city. And we'll hear from Lindsay Adario, a photojournalist who uses photography to cross borders and cultures and to challenge assumptions. We'll hear from Molly Melching, Jahadukure, and Maria, Maria Tahad about empowering the silent to speak and enabling communities to respond. And I think that conversation is very important. They'll talk about one of the greatest taboos in the societies that they work in and how they helped people overcome it because our divides exist because we refuse to talk to one another. We refuse to listen to one another. And if we can do that, we can make great strides. You'll hear from Deepak Chopra, uh, Chopra sorry, about the, uh, the future of well-being in the world and you'll hear a panel on storytelling as, as bridge making uh, with Raj Kumar, Lara Sutrakian, and Shamil Idris. Lunch, we'll give you some open time so you can talk to one another because there are very, very uh, interesting people in the audience, of course. Uh, but please be back at 1 p.m. Uh, sharp because we have a treat for you. Uh, Clarence Jones will be uh, speaking who is the author of the I Have a Dream speech of Martin Luther King. Uh, and of course, the title of his, uh, his talk is The Fierce Urgency of Now, Resetting Our Moral Compass. So prepare for a couple of challenges there. Uh, after that, a bit of break again, and then we reconvene here for the prize ceremony. Uh, the, uh, the comments will be uh, given by uh, Dr. Alam Murabit, who I know you'll love, talking about moving from local action to global impact. And she will introduce ICDDRB. Now, uh, that will be one of our uh, challenges tonight at the reception, is to have each of you say ICDDRB without stumbling. <laughs> I tend to trip over the silent comma, but uh, uh, so it's an organization with a difficult name, but it's taking on an even more aggressive set of global health challenges. And they've done it bringing innovation, low cost, and scalability. It's estimated that one of their innovations, just one, bringing salt, sugar, and water together in a solution 
that, that saves lives has saved 50 million lives in the last half century. Just think about that, 50 million lives. And that's only one of, one of the many things they have done. You'll hear more about them later. We'll round off today uh, with a panel that builds on the work of ICDDRB and, and thinks forward about the role of the Global South in helping, global health in helping resolve global health challenges and by extension, all the problems that we work on. We may have innovation, diversity, and optimism here in Los Angeles, but there's a lot in the developing world and we need to work together.